Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of solid coming under uh, unit 4 and engineering graphics. Initially, I will be explaining the question, then I will be explaining how to write the given data. After that, I will be explaining how to draw the diagram step by step. Just to follow all the instructions step by step so that you can easily complete the diagram and score full 20 marks. So, let us go into the problem. A pentagonal pyramid. So, solid is pentagonal pyramid. So, what type of diagram, base diagram we are going to draw? We are going to draw pentagon as the base diagram. Keep that in your mind. So, pentagon can be drawn in these uh, number of ways. That is, you can keep the base here. This is the base of the pentagon. You can draw the pentagon like this. You can draw the pentagon like this. And you can draw the pentagon like this. You can draw the pentagon in this manner also. So all these cases, this is your base side, this is your base side, uh, this is your base side and this is your base side. These are the number of ways we can draw the pentagon. Let us uh, complete the question. A pentagonal pyramid of base side 40 mm. So each side of the pentagon, each base side will be 40 mm and altitude 80 mm. So height will be 80 mm. Rest on its base on HP. So resting will be on HP. See, resting will be on HP. With one of the base edge parallel to VP. What they are telling? One of the base edge. So this base edge should be parallel to the VP. Okay. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to HP. So it is cut by a plane perpendicular to HP. Inclined at 45 degree to H, 45 degree to VP. So what they are telling is the cutting plane is inclined 45 degree to VP means we will be having the cutting plane here. If the cutting plane is uh, inclined 45 degree to HP means we will be having cutting plane here. So till now we have seen many problems having the cutting plane in HP. This is the special type problem and this is a different problem. So here we will be having the cutting plane in VP at a distance of 10 mm away from the axis. So they clearly mention it is inclined to be respect to VP and 10 mm away from the axis. Draw the top view and sectional front view and true shape of the section. So in this problem we can take, we can go with either this one. We can go with either this one or even this one also is okay. Because they haven't said anything that base edge is nearer to VP or far away from VP. They haven't said. So out of these two diagrams you can go with any one. So I am going with this one. First one I am just going to do. So that uh, even you can also go with this also no problem. Because they haven't mentioned the, whether the base edge is nearer to VP or far away from VP. So in this case it doesn't matter. So base diagram will be the pentagon. Pentagon we are going to draw in HP. So it's resting on HP means initially we will be drawing the top view and then we will draw front view. The first step is you need to draw the reference line as XY and write HP VP. The next step is we are going to draw the pentagon. Pentagon is our base diagram. Draw the pentagon in this way. All the sides will be 40. This is 40 and you know you know how to draw the pentagons. Just draw the pentagon. Naming is A, B, C, D, E. Since it's a pentagonal pyramid, we will be having only 5 namings. If it is pentagonal prism, means bottom 5, top 5. So 10 namings will be there. Since it's a pyramid, means we will be having only apex type, O point. So write A, B, C, D, E and O. Next thing is, whenever you are working for a pyramid, means you have to give preferences to slant edges. So remember this point in your mind, slant edge is very very important. See here, if this is the base means, opposite a corner just bisect ED. Okay, what all may be the reason, so 20 will be there right. Just keep a point for 20 and just join with B. And here AB, just measure AB, 40 will be having, send, bisect this line 20. So just join with the opposite corner D. So these two lines intersect at one point right, that point is called as O. Now join OA, OB, OC, OD, OE. So these are the slant edges and you have to give preferences for slant edges for pyramid. Now we have just drawn, I just have the remaining line. I have joined O with OA, OB, OC, OD, OE. So these are the slant edge for the pentagonal pyramid. As of now we have drawn the top view. Now when we extend the top views, we can draw the front view. Now we are going to draw different view so these are the top view points right just extend all the top view points see here you have to keep your scale here vertically from here you can get this point from here you can this get this point from b if you keep your scale vertically you get this this point if you keep your scale here you can get this point vertically if you keep your scale in c you can get a point on the reference line so we have just got one two three four five five points so this is the center so axis we haven't drawn reason is c the B is a visible edge, OB is a visible edge. So visible edge will overtake the axis. So I haven't shown the axis here. 
if in case uh, there is no visible edge means we have to give preferences for the axis okay from this point okay from this point uh, let us see the naming when you see from here you can see a right so a dash you can see e e dash you can see b so b dash you can see d so d dash you can see c so c dash so now we have uh, marked all the as uh, naming and all from b dash for 80 mm see <coughs> altitude is 80 mm from b dash for 80 mm we keep a point and mark it as o dash just to join o dash a dash just to join all the points with whatever uh, uh, five points we got in reference line light right? you have to connect all the points with o dash so o dash a dash o dash e dash o dash b dash o dash d dash o dash c dash so this is the way you need to dimension uh, till now i have dimension mostly in left hand side so when you see from here i will dimension this side but this time i have dimension right hand side reason is we go, we need to do some work on this side so if i dimension means it will be clumsy okay so it depends upon the what type of problem we are uh, approaching okay in this problem if you dimension here somewhat it will be somewhat like a disturbance so i dimension right hand side this is the extension line to h pencil these are the dimension line h pencil arrow here and 80 should be written with your hb pencil same thing here extension to h dimension h 40 should be in your hb pencil right now we have done the drawn the front view and top view diagram now we will see and how to draw the cutting plane all of you listen here <coughs> Regarding the cutting plane, what they are saying is the cutting plane. See where uh, it is cut by a plane perpendicular to HP inclined forty five degree to VB. It it should be forty five degree to VB at a distance of ten mm away from the axis. So don't get confused with this diagram. So till now you would have understood. Now what you do need to do is take your compass, measure ten mm. Okay, take your compass, measure ten mm in scale. Keep the center of the compass at the center of the point O. Okay, so I have drawn an uneven circle. I myself can uh, can see, but you try to draw a regular and uh, clear. I mean, exact dimension. If you draw, means the circle will be good. Uh, if I keep on rubbing, means it, it takes more time. So I just go with it and kindly adjust for this. Take ten mm. Keep the center of the circle at O. Keep the center of your compass at O and draw a circle. Okay, so radius of the circle is ten mm. Reason is. 10 mm away from the axis this is the center point so this is the center point so 10 mm okay radius should be 10 mm compass 10 mm keep center put a circle then what you need to do is see here it's very difficult to draw like this but uh, somewhat trial and error only we can go with it uh, take somewhere 45 degree put a put a reference line you take a 45 degree angle so this angle should be Forty five degree. Try to keep your scale in such. Try to keep your scale here. You will be having a long scale, right? Try to keep your scale and try to keep on moving it. So when it touches the circle, you just stop it. When it touches the circle, just stop it. So just draw a line. So what I'm saying is, you are you would have keep a scale like this. Keep on moving. When the scale touches the circle, you just stop it and try to put a line like this. And try to extend it reverse in such a way that it has to touch the reference line, and you have to dimension it as forty five degree. So this is how we need to do. draw a horizontal line, imaginary line. Take the uh, with this reference, keep your period and take forty five degree and draw a line with this line as reference. Keep your scale and move the scale in such a way that it should be parallelly moved. This cutting plane and this line should be parallel. Okay, move the line parallelly so that it touches the circle. Just stop with it and draw a line. And try to extend it in a reverse manner, and it touches the reference line and mark forty five degree. And see here, it will be cutting A B right. That is one. It will be cutting O B. That is the second point. It will be cutting O C. That is the third point. It will be cutting D C. That is the fourth point. So right now we have drawn the cutting plane in top view. So okay, now we are going to project all the cutting points to the front view and get the points in the front view. Now <clears throat> this step will be a challenging one. See, we have got the cutting plane. Now, what we need to do is we have to extend all the cutting points and get the points on the front view. See, one is between A and B. Okay, so keep your scale at one and uh, keep your scale vertically so that you have to extend your line. I haven't drawn the extension line. Uh, you can just keep your scale and get a point between A dash and B dash because one is between A and B means if you draw a vertical line, it will be meeting A dash B dash at one point. That point is called as one dash. 
Next is 2 dash I will tell later on coming to three third point. 3 is between O and C. So when you extend the third point vertically, you will be getting the third 3 dash in between O dash and C dash because 3 is between O C right. So extend the third point in such a way that it has to meet O dash C dash at one point. That point is called as 3 dash. 4 is between C and D. Extend the fourth point in such a way that it has to meet D dash and C dash at one point. That point is called as 4 dash. But the problem with here is 2 is between O and D. So if you keep on extending means it, it, uh, 2 can be here, 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 anywhere. But we can't trace it up. The reason is it is lying on the axis. That is the problem. So what we are going to do? Take your compass. Keep your compass at here. Measure from O to 2. Okay. All of you listen. Take your compass. Keep your compass at here and measure till O to 2 and try to uh, try to cut an arc with as a radius. So radius will be O and O, o to 2. So try to cut an arc to the nearest slantage. Mark the words to nearest slantage. So here you will be cutting right. After that take your scale and try to extend this line vertically to O dash A dash. So here you will be getting a point that is you cut an arc right. From that take your scale and try to extend this point vertically so that it has to cut O dash and A dash at one point. Now just to draw a horizontal line, just to draw a horizontal line such a way that it has to meet the axis. So it will be meeting the axis at O dash and B dash right. That point is called as 2 dash. So in order to get this 2 dash point only we are doing all these things. These should be done with your 2 edge pencil very very light. So it should not be seen that much okay. It should be drawn very very light. And later on what you need to do, just connect all 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash points and this is the sectional front view. So as of now we got sectional top view only, here we will be getting the sectional front view, that's what you asked, sectional front view. After that you do hatching, hatching is just draw a, a baseline and take 45 degree, keeping this line as a reference, this is 45 degree, keeping this line as reference. Try to hatch in such a way that the hatching should be done 45 degree angle and equal spacing and later on you try to rub it off. Okay, so try to rub it off. So this is the way we need to do. So we have got the section on front view. Next we will be getting the true shape of the section. Now we are going to draw the true shape of the section. So this is our cutting plane, right? So here you need uh, one mistake I have done here. Just see here. For drawing the cutting plane, see you have to leave one more gap. Okay. You have to leave one gap and also you can extend here also further. So since this is the cutting plane, when this is the cutting plane, leave one gap on both the sides so that it will be looking good. So coming back, the you have to draw another reference line, new reference line. This reference line should be parallel to the cutting plane. If this is the cutting plane, means you have to draw a line away from the diagram. Uh, distance does not matter away from the diagram but this line and this cutting plane line should be parallel okay length of the line is also does not matter it's our own wish so draw it uh, draw a refer new reference line parallel to the cutting plane and name it as x1 y1 then what you need to do these are the cutting points right 1 2 3 4 extend all the cutting points perpendicularly like this use a l-shaped scale or long scale and uh, from here 90 degree you have to draw a extension line so 1 2 3 4 all the four lines should be extended to some distance away from the new reference line so till here alone then what you need to do take your compass see here uh, section and front view one, da, 1 1 and 4 1 are lying on the axis itself reference axis itself so you can mark 1 1 and 4 1 from b dash see from b dash how much of a distance you are having same distance you should have from here take your compass Keep your compass at B dash and measure till B dash and 2 dash. So this is the second point right from here you have to cut an arc. Okay so that you have to get 2 1. Then from D, uh, from here see uh, from here from the reference line measure till uh, measure uh, 3 dash for the same distance you will be having here. You can either use compass or scale it's your own convenient whichever is possible you can use. Now we got 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1. Now I have just joined all the points. After that, I will hatch it up with 45 degree and equal spacing. So, last step is hatching alone. So, you know how to draw hatching. Hatching 45 degree. Draw a reference line like this. Take a reference line and for 45 degree, uh, draw a line the like this. Then, the, you can draw hatching with respect to this line. So, hatching should be done with 45 degree angle and equal spacing. After that, you can drop it off. Okay, it's for your reference. 
so right now we have done the uh, entire sum so this is a true shape this is the front uh, sectional front view and this is the cutting plane so this is top view and this is front view so this is the way you need to draw the diagram in case if you have any doubt means you can uh, ask in the comment section so height of the text the heading should be uh, sectional section of pentagonal plane should be in uh, 10 mm and uh, i think so all dimensions won't be visible for you so this height of the text should be 10 mm section of pentagonal plane 10 mm here you need to use a closed circle and write the question number and bottom you should write two lines all dimensions are in mm scale only so one height of the text is 5 mm so i hope so this video will be very clear so in case if you want me to take a particular problem or a particular topic means you type in the comment section so that we will upload whatever topic you are asking as early as possible and do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned with our channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics videos from all the units to your doorstep it will be very much helpful for you during your examination preparation kindly share the video to all first year students they will be making the best use of it thanks for watching this video have a great day